Hey guys, what's going on? It's G Rad here, and I wanted to do this video before my surgery and before Christmas, and which is two days after my surgery. <laughs> Next week's gonna be really busy. So I thought I would share this with you guys real quick. This is my electronic room set, and it is actually my second DIY kit. As y'all have seen my videos, my first DIY kit was a huge success and was very comfortable. And I've had several different kinds of pads and everything, so I find a DIY kit to be the most comfortable for me. So that's what I went back to using. All right, well, this is my kit. As you can see, it's fairly basic. It's got a couple of auxiliary symbols. And um, the heart of this unit is the Roland TD-15 electronic drum module with the supernatural sound engine for the cymbals. Now, it has your three toms, kick, snare, hi-hat, crash one, three zone ride, and whatnot. And I actually, it has an auxiliary and a crash two input on it that you can do optionally that are not attached to the harness that the TD-15 uses. Now, with that having been said, it is a great module and it's very compact. As you can actually see, it's down here onto the far left side of my kit. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but it's down there underneath the hi-hat next to the snare. And it's an out of the way place where I can actually get to it fairly comfortably and it's not bothering nobody. All the wires are nicely tucked away and there's no sagging lines or anything like that. And so it works great. It's a really good module. All right, well, the shells of these drums, uh, my electronic conversion, is a PDP Z5 series drum set. It's basically a starter or student drum set and it uses fusion size drums so that's actually really good because an electronic kit you don't need the largest drum shells possible and due to the fact that the drum shells are probably cheaply made due to the price tag you know it doesn't matter what they sound like acoustically because they're not going to be resonating any acoustic noise um, the shell pack itself actually cost $249 shipped to my house brand new from musicians friends and I thought that was a really good deal. And the shell sizes are actually really nice too. It is a 10 by eight and a 12 by nine inch rat tom, a 14 by 12 inch floor tom, and a 14 by five inch snare, a 22 by 16 inch bass drum. And the whole kit is emerald. That's the color I chose, but there are seven or eight different options to choose from. And it really works pretty good as far as the way it feels and the way it looks. Now the hardware on it is chrome, and that's fine, you know, because I can't complain for the price tag especially. It comes with the tom mounts that mount the toms onto the bass drum. It did not come with the snare stand. I had to buy one of those separately. It did not come with any other stands for that matter. It did, however, come with a pair of 7 a size drumsticks that I am not using. Um, now on the toms and the kick drum and the snare, I have all heart maxim drum heads. They're all mesh heads and they're actually really durable heads. I actually have had these for a few years and they are still holding their own to this day. I have had no problems with them except for the fact that they do have a little bit of resonance to them because it's made out of a metal wire. And so I can easily fix that by simply installing a uh, muffler inside the drums, but I have not found no reason to do so at this moment. Now, as you'll see on my snare here, I actually have a rubber rim. This is called a rim condom. This is the actual rim condom that I bought for the snare drum. And it serves a multiple purpose of protecting the sticks, protecting the rim, and silencing the rim. Now, the only downside is you will have to make some adjustments to your head rim triggering, but that's fine. I'll give you an example of just how quiet it makes these things. Here's a rim without the you know protection on it. Now here's the rim with the protection on it. As you can see, it's a world of difference. I do not know how well the camera picks it up, but so be it. I hope y'all guys can figure that one out. Um, now, inside the shells, I am using a set of homemade DIY triggers a friend of mine sent to me from the V-Drum community. They're basically small cylinders that mount to the drum shell using the screw lugs, or the lug screws, that actually hold the lug onto the shell inside the drum and it gives me both head and rim triggering to each drum including the kick despite the fact that the kick drum on the module is only a single zone so all my drums are dual zone head and rim triggering now enough of the drums let's go ahead and move on over to the cymbals in my case they're all rolling cymbals except for one which is supposed to be a rolling cymbal once i get it back from my friend um this here is my ride it's a three zone rolling cy 15r and up here, this is my Crash 2 symbol. This is a Roland CY12RC. 
and I have it assigned to the CY twelve C settings. It works pretty well. But I'm only using it as a dual zone, which is the bell on the edge. The bell on this symbol is not active. Over here is a CY8. This is assigned to crash one. And then I have my Roland PD9 for my hi-hat, which is being controlled by the FD8. Now my auxiliary symbols, this one is a Yamaha PCY80 single zone. And over here is another Roland CY8, which is basically set up as a single zone. The auxiliary output on the module is split out into two different symbols. The head triggering is being done by the PCY80, which I have assigned to a splash. And then the rim trigger is being done by the CY8 over here, which I have assigned to a China. Now, essentially, I usually just use two crashes, a rattle splash, China hi-hat, and a bell on my acoustic kit. But with the ability of the module, I can actually assign more symbols to the rims if I really wanted to, but I don't want to right now. Now, the hardware on this, I'm using all the rolling stands that came with my old drum rack, with the exception of this one right here is a Gibraltar stand that's holding up my china. And um, I'm using all rolling clamps and everything is housed on the rolling MDS-9 drum rack. The MDS-9 drum rack fits this drum set perfectly, but I actually moved the second crossbar all the way up right below the top crossbar and I pulled them out away from the uprights just barely, just so that way the 22 inch kick drum will seat underneath there more comfortably. Now the kick drum will seat under there very snugly if the drum rack had the crossbars pushed all the way into the clamps held onto the uprights. But really, it was just for me being comfortable. However, there is no you know swaying or anything like that being done and it's working just fine. Now, my kick pedals are a pair of the Pearl Eliminators with the interchangeable shafts, which I actually have set up and feel most like a set of Access Longboards. I actually find these Pearl Eliminators to be a lot more comfortable than the Tamil Iron Cobras, which I have used for years. So, I may actually end up buying a pair of singles just to go on my DW kit, but I haven't fully decided on that. Now, for upgrades on this kit, I would really like to see myself get another floor tom eventually, but that's kind of one of the last things on my list. One of the first things on my list is getting all the rest of these drum rim condoms for the 10, 12, and 14 inch toms. And eventually, I will be changing out my cymbals to probably the Pentec module, or you know, the Pentec PC series or something like that. I want to get a 14 inch or a 16 inch crash, 18 inch ride, another 14 or 16 inch single zone for the China, and a 10 inch single zone for the splash. And then I would also like to get the Roland VH11 for my hi hat so I can actually put it on the hi hat stand and it'd feel more comfortable to me and all that. Um, now, for the mesh heads, I may switch over to the Pentec mesh heads. I'm going to buy one for the snare and see how well that works out. And also for the snare only, I'm going to buy the Pentec conversion kit eventually and use it inside the snare for its triggers so that way I can have positional sensing on the snare if I feel like it. Um, there's nothing absolutely wrong with these triggers, but that also opens up a trigger if I decide to get a second floor on, I have a trigger for it. So that's really all the real upgrades I want to do at this point. I'm not really going to be changing out any of the hardware except I may change the hardware from chrome to black. So. That way it all matches and it all looks good. So that way the whole setup is emerald and black, which is what I was shooting for in my original design. So with that having been said, this concludes my video tour of my electronic drum set. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Up until this point, I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to be able to post another video, but hopefully it won't be too long after the holidays are over. And I will let you guys know how my surgery turns out. Please keep up with me on my Facebook page, which is Jared Duvall Music and you will get more updates from me there and whatnot regarding you know future videos my album and all that good stuff so up until this point this is g signing out and i will talk to you guys soon peace